Freestyle Nair with AB Boxing News. I'm here with Saddam Ali. What brings you out here to the Triple G and Canelo Alvarez press conference? The biggest fight. This is going to be amazing. You know, how many of the fans have been waiting to watch that fight? Um, it's, uh, it's a close match. You know, everybody has their own opinions, and um, I'm excited to see the end results. Is this fight bigger than Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather? Of course, in the boxing world it is. Of course, because, you know, you got to look at it like... Mayweather and Conor, I mean, it has some entertainment, but at the end of the day, we all know who's going to win the fight, you know, and how easy it would be, unless Mayweather purposely makes it competitive just for the fans, you know, but, uh, uh, so yeah, this is definitely a, a bigger fight. Uh, well, what were your thoughts on Kell Brook versus Errol Spence in the UK? Well, how'd you... Were you surprised at Errol Spence's performance, or, you know, they... No, uh, I knew Errol Spence was going to do good, actually. Um, Kel Brook actually was doing better than I thought in the beginning. Yeah. Um, and uh, Kel, um, Errol Spence stuck to it, and uh, he, he started picking it back up, and he heard him, and uh, he won the fight. Can you tell us about your next fight coming up, or is there any a plan um, coming up for you? Um, July 29th, uh, main event on ESPN2. ESPN2. I'm playing Jawan Perez, I believe his name is. Um, the plan is to just go out there and win, and uh, keep taking my steps, uh, getting back on where I, where I need to be. Talking about the welterweight division, how do you how do you see it? Top five, how would you rank them? Like the Keith Thurmans of the world, Errol Spence. So many, there's too many. There's honestly, there's too many to rank because yeah, there's so many amazing. Oh, who, who are? Spence, you got um, like you said. Um, uh, Keith Thurman. I can't help but with a lot of those guys in, uh, in the amateurs too. It's crazy. Uh, Danny Garcia is a great fighter too. Turns off, it's a little lighter. Right? Yeah, but he's moving up soon to welterweight. So yeah. the list goes on, man. I would have to really sit here and think about everybody. I don't want to leave anybody out. Yeah, you, the, the 147 pound is packed. It's packed full of fighters. Man. You mentioned you mentioned that you fought them in the amateurs. Which out of all those boxers, who gave you the the toughest matchup? Or I would have to say Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford. What makes him so special out of the other fighters that were mentioned by you? Um, I was in the Olympic trials and he was also favored to win. Um, a lot of people didn't want to draw him. I drew him first, <laughs> you know, so I was like, oh man, I got to get through him, you know, if I want to, if I want to be the Olympian. And um, it was a very close fight. You know, I pulled through and look where he's at now. You know, he's a man, so uh, it's crazy. Coming from New York, which prospects is your favorite? Uh, for example, you got the Richardson Hitchens of the world, the Julian Sosa of the world. You know, is there any particular boxer from New York that you like seeing? Or no, I mean all those all those little guys I came up with, man, and I got love for all of them. I wish the best for all of them. I was a prospect at a time too. You know, I'm still working my way up the ladder as, as, as well. So I mean, it just takes work. It takes uh, stay, stay focused and. Uh, being ready for what's coming. What about Paulie Malignaggi? You know, now he's retired. Right. Do you think he's really retired? Do you see him coming, making a comeback, or? You know? I think I honestly do think he's really retired, and that's something outrageous. You know, comes. I mean, Paulie Malignaggi is the man. You know, he did what he had to do in his career. A lot of people counted him out. A lot of people, you know, said he has no power. He'll get nowhere, but he got somewhere. And uh, he's a great commentator, man. One of my favorites. So, you know, and uh, so he's good. Final thoughts, any shout outs to anybody? Uh, I just want to say I'm thankful. I want to thank God. Uh, thank Golden Boy. I thank everybody that's supporting me, all the fans that's watching. Uh, it's a great feeling going out there and performing. And, uh, I don't have to anybody else. Sorry. There you have it. Saddam Ali, Gustavo Neri, AB Boxing News.